he personally asked if I would well, I be in the competition this year. And Carol is speaking I right now. He has won now the third text. time. He's so won various shape-offs, but Ricky Carroll, RickyCarrollSurfboards.com, R&D, work hard and surf hard is his motto. And he is out of Florida, originally from New York. Parents got him into surfing at the age of seven in Hawaii. But uh, what he done, what he's done with his shaping career and to the surfers he's helped out and the brands that he's brought on the East Coast is really amazing. And Carol wins it. Maurice Cole right here. Maurice, we kind of claimed the wrong the wrong guy. At one point, we thought Rawson was going to win it, didn't we? Well, I, I could recognize the blank, actually. He had a little tear mark in the top of it, so in the top of the board. So I went, gee, Pat must have come pretty close. I think Reno came very close, too. Yeah. They were, they were down to the last three. I think it was Ricky and, uh, yeah. Pretty yeah. impressive stuff, and it's so good to see you. Todd and I have been waiting a long time for this interview, and let's, uh, let's start at the beginning, and the beginning would be you surfing? Me surfing. A yeah, long, you like to surf. A long, long time ago. Uh, 40, 40 years ago. That's what your website says. Is that it? Yeah. So I, you're up I'm to date. over 50 now, so my memory's just, you know, it's a little shaky now. So. And <laughs> how old were you when you started? Right I started about 10? when I was uh, 13. Yeah. 13. 13 okay. in a little place called Warnable in Victoria, yeah. Before wetsuits, when we still had to, in winter, wear football shorts and cut off football jumpers. So you can imagine those days. Uh, There's probably a few guys still doing that out there. Probably I, thinking it's I fashion though nowadays. I hope not. Really? <laughs> Trust me, there's Come a few. On, they call it trend setting. We've got wetsuits now. <laughs> huh? Well, first of all, uh, Todd mentioned something with me, but uh, that you were just you just came in from Europe. SEMA yeah, Europe. Yeah, I got in from Europe at one o'clock yesterday morning. I was over in France and um, had a pretty good time in France. Uh, I received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the surf industry there, which was very unexpected, a very humbling experience. And uh, I was lucky to be there when the contest was on and uh, saw a pretty amazing contest that's a beach that I think I was one of the first guys to surf called La Graviere. So um, there was a lot of people uh, up in the stands going, how do we surf this shit, man? Like, whoa. I mean, this is heavy, and I'm going, yeah, it's heavy, yeah, it's as heavy a beach break as they're in the world, and uh, go for it, guys. And I think they broke 60, 70 boards, a uh, couple of guys nearly drowned, uh, one guy got held under for two waves. And Jeremy, local boy. Yeah, I've been held under there for maybe four or five times in my life, a couple of waves, broken 20, 30 boards there myself over the years, so... I know the spot really, really well. Well, Maurice, I got a question, and that's a great segue <coughs> for this question, is you said you were born and raised in Australia. You spent a lot of time, though, in Europe. Yeah, I went there in 1980 for the world titles, and um, one morning uh, we got up, and I was staying with Rabbit and Bruce Raymond and John Law, the Quicksilver guys, and uh, walked over the hill and, uh, with a French guy, and uh, I looked out, and it was six to eight feet, a-frame, just barrels spitting left and right. And they basically, uh, they ba <laughs> That would be the voice of God. Yeah, that could be. He's got a sense of humor. Anyhow, and, and the French guy looked at me and said, oh, we don't surf out here, the waves are too fast. And at that stage, he looked around and I was already running to the house, grabbed my board, Rabbit was still asleep put his head up and said, hey, what's going on? I said, I think it's the best surf I've ever seen in my life. So I surfed for about an hour and a half by myself and got slapped probably the first three or four waves. I had that much adrenaline. And then uh, finally got a smaller wave and probably got a, a pretty incredible barrel and went a bigger wave and got a better barrel and got a better barrel and Rabbit came walking down the beach and uh, I watched him and I went, I just waited for a wave and he was sort of dragging his board. He had a hangover and he was looking pretty, pretty seedy to say the least, pretty scratchy. So I ended up getting about a six foot barrel, got spat out, did a turn, flicked off and he was at, it was like chariots of fire. He was running down the beach, you know, and I ended up surfing for seven and a half hours that day nonstop. It was probably best surf I'd ever had in my life till that stage. And uh, I think that was one of those moments in life and I think it was a moment in French history where everyone realized France has got incredible surf 
in fact, maybe it's got the best beach breaks in the world. And, and so uh, you moved there at that point? Um, I said to my wife the next year, we better go back and have a look at this place. And, uh, you know, uh, I think we're going to move here. And she said, yeah, but there's no industry. And, um, uh, yeah, there will be, you know, sort of did a pretty spontaneous thing. And within a year, uh, I was living there. So. And how long did families. you stay? Are you still there now? Or you're back no, in Australia, I, I right? I stayed there for 15 years and yeah. uh, watched the whole surf explosion, the industry, moved back to Margaret River in uh, 1999 um, and uh, took my kids home to Australia. It was time to move on. And now I'm back at Bells Beach. So, yeah, it's, it's been around the world in 20 years. Yeah. Well, let's fast forward now. Let's have a look at these boards. I tell you, I'm looking at this one right here in particular in front of us. You were at the forefront of toe-in surfing. This board here sitting on that table is a toe-in board. You've worked with one of the best, if not the best, crazy ass guys out there in Ross Clark Jones. What is this board that I'm looking at? Well, this board is, um, this was probably the first magic toe board we had that would work without weights from probably eight feet to probably about 30 or 40 feet. The biggest waves that Ross has ever caught, he's caught on the, this board. Um, there was a, lo a, lot of, a lot of years w of work went into it. We ended up with very, very deep concaves. Uh, carbon, they're only an inch and a half thick. A lot of people think they look like snowboards. So that board's an inch and a half thick? It's an inch and a half thick. It's got razor sharp rails from nose to tail. Um, and the width? It's uh, a little bit asymmetric because the place we surf at home, we've got a place at home that breaks 20, 30, probably a little bit plus. We don't talk about it a lot, but it's probably one of the best testing grounds in the world. And Ross and I have been great mates forever. We used to think, who's the craziest? Thank God I got a little bit older, so he can take over that. We call him the froth, and I'm the anti-froth. What's TC, the offspring? <laughs> yeah, to yeah, he is, he's the offspring. So yeah. Tom comes down, but Ross and I, he's moved to Torquay, and uh, we've spent a lot of time developing these boards and he basically said look I need a board that'll go 50 mile an hour that I can actually do a bottom turn and a top turn I can carve it can't spin out it has to be able there has to be no speed that it won't handle there's no way that won't handle I need it to be able to ride a barrel I need to be able to ride jaws and I sort of said yeah, anything else, you know, like... Yeah, your website says the future is faster, no spin-outs, kind of what you're ta well, talking about and, there. and that's what it is. And, and that was the challenge as a designer and as a friend. Both of us have a really great understanding. You know, I drive the ski, he has 20 waves, then I have three waves, and, you know, I've got a little bit weaker legs, I'm not in as good a good physical shape as him, but um, it's amazing because we test everything. It's, a, it's For me, it's like Formula One. I'm a Formula One freak. The way they put the cars together, all the variables. So I've learnt over the last probably six, seven, eight years how to build a board that will comfortably go 50, 55, maybe 60 mile an hour as fast as you can go on a wave. But you have to be able to turn it and carve and generate speed. There can't be any moment where it lets go. Because if you do, you'll get stuck at, the stock, stuck at the top of the wave, which we've had that problem. By the time you get to the bottom, the lip hits you between the shoulder blades. So it's like very, very serious consequences, you know, to, to what we're doing. So, you know, I mean, I fear for his life sometimes. He goes out on a brand new board and he'll go into the biggest wave you've ever seen and he will just stick it on an edge and just give it everything he's got. And I'm like... I hope this works. If not, I'll be, uh, you know, we'll have the body bag on the beach. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty serious stuff, but we've got a pretty good sense of humor about well, it. Well, congratulations, Maurice, on being recognized for the Lifetime Achievement Award over in uh, Europe. And, you know, I'm enthralled. I know a lot of the viewers are. One more time, your website to learn more about your shapes and Maurice Cole, the individual. Yeah, MauriceCole.com. Yeah. So basically, we've now made the surfboards, like the surfboard over there, We've used this technology, and now I make surfboards with very deep concaves, which it's, uh, it's only been a few years, but you'll see them in the water uh, this winter in Hawaii. So, uh, 
There's a lot more to come yet. It's a very exciting, well, very exciting time for There's a lot of questions design. I had for you, Maurice, as well as Dave. The show's about to wrap oh, up. I saw I'm that. getting yelled at, yep. so we got to uh, call okay, it a man. day here. Maurice, best of luck to you, buddy. Thank you. Good catching up. Dave, anything else closing here? If you want PMS, you can get it from this guy. If you're a male or a female, you can get PMS, which stands for Personalized Magic Surfboard. Personalized Magic, it's all about the magic. And Nick Carroll says, you have the best ratio of shapers around the world of making the magic board. Nick Carroll That's said That's nice, it. well he'd know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Thanks very much, guys. All righty, Maurice Cole. More Maurice. legends to uh, come here. We're winding down here at the boardroom here in Del Mar, California. Coming up next, the crew from Solares. Stay with us.